In this video, you'll see an example of how to build a cross-account continuous delivery pipeline using AWS Code Pipeline. With this solution, you can implement administrative isolation between AWS accounts, clearly divide user responsibilities, and enhance project security. This blog on the AWS website explains the benefits of creating multiple AWS accounts and how to orchestrate continuous integration and continuous delivery, or CI-CD, through a centralized delivery pipeline. Let's quickly scan the blog to review the solution and a sample use case. The primary benefit of using multiple accounts is the separation of workloads for modularization and security. This solution uses four distinct accounts to handle different parts of the deployment architecture. A developer account, a tools account, a test account, and a production account. In this architecture, developers push changes to the code commit repository for the dev account. This triggers the pipeline, which is created in AWS Code Pipeline, and runs the build using AWS Code Build in the Tools account. The pipeline then deploys the changes to the test and production accounts. Let's take a look at each of these accounts from a user perspective. The dev account has full access to the code commit repository that hosts the project code. The developer's scope is limited to reading and writing the code that makes up the project. The example project is a simple AWS Hello World Lambda function and a CloudFormation configuration file that deploys the Lambda. Let's move on to the Tools account to see the code pipeline CI-CD pipeline. The Tools account is responsible for the CI-CD process for the overall project, as well as storing any build artifacts. Let's take a look at the pipeline. First, a push to the associated code commit repository triggers the pipeline to begin executing, and it pulls the source code from the code commit repository hosted in the developer account. Next, the pipeline uses the pulled source code to build the artifact and stores the output in an Amazon Simple Storage Service, or Amazon S3, bucket. Next, the pipeline deploys the built application to the test account. Finally, the application is also deployed to the production account. Next, let's take a look at the S3 bucket that hosts the build artifacts. The bucket policy enables the tools and production accounts to read from and write to the bucket using a service-linked role in each of the accounts. It also enables code build to access the bucket in order to store build artifacts. Key Management Service, or KMS, is used to encrypt the files in the Tools account and decrypt the files in the Production and Test account for secure transmission. The Test account hosts the Lambda function deployed by the Code Pipeline orchestration in the Tools account. It contains a CloudFormation stack that is modified as necessary by the created change set produced by the pipeline. As you can see, the CloudFormation stack was updated recently through a pipeline-initiated execution. In the Resources tab, you can see that the stack produces a Lambda function and a corresponding service-linked role to enable use of the Lambda API. Let's drill down into the function. We can create, edit, and perform tests from this dashboard. Let's take a look at the test that has been pre-configured for our function. The test simply makes a request to the Lambda function with a simple JSON body. Let's run it. The log output produced by the function contains the environmental variables of the deployment instance, as expected. You can also view the code for the function on this page. Now let's switch to the production account. The production account is responsible for managing the configuration of the Lambda function. Let's head to CloudFormation to look at the stack that deploys the function. This stack is functionally identical to the one in the test account. Let's make sure that the code pipeline orchestration made changes through the creation of a change set. As you can see, a change set was executed alongside the last execution of the pipeline. In this example, the change deployed in the change set is the Lambda function itself, which is redeployed with the new build artifacts every time the pipeline is executed. Next, let's return to the developer account and make a small change to the code so that we can see the changes applied in all of the accounts. 
We'll edit the lambda function file and change the release number string. Committing the change triggers the pipeline. In the Tools account, you can see that the pipeline's execution status is in progress. The pipeline has already pulled the newest code from the code commit repository in the developer account, built the code with code build, and deployed the final staging build to the test account. Let's refresh the page to see it deploy to the production account. Now, let's return to the test account to ensure that the changes in the code are reflected in the Lambda function output. As you can see, code commit triggered a pipeline initiated change set creation and stack redeployment. Let's take a look at the change set. As before, the change set was created and deployed successfully. Let's rerun the sample test for the deployed Lambda function. The string returned from the function reflects our changes to the code. To learn more about this architecture and its possible use cases, check out the AWS Code Pipeline documentation. You've just seen how to build a multi-account continuous delivery pipeline using AWS Code Pipeline. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.